Hello everyone. Now we are going to to see another talk related to the GeoStyler map file parser. So um, the speaker will give a quick introduction to the GeoStyler framework before going into more detail about the current state of the map file parser including lessons learned and the live demo and future prospects. Our speaker is uh, Baltasar. He is, uh, he is now working as a geospatial engineer at uh, camp to camp with an interest uh, in geospatial data science. And uh, he, he likes to rust and kung fu. So now enjoy the talk. Welcome to my presentation, Geostyler Master. My name is Balthasar Teuscher. I work as a geospatial engineer at Camp to Camp. At Camp to Camp, we provide open source uh, solutions uh, for geospatial uh, business and also subscriptions. Um, to the content of my task, talk, uh, I will first give a, a short uh, background, the context of the project uh, where this happens, and uh, then move on to, to explain a little the, the development process of the parser and, and also uh, show off the, the current state um, also in an example in the end. Yes, the stakeholders of this project were on, on one hand uh, a small team from camp to camp, including myself. And uh, the, the other part was the Federal Office of Topography, Swiss Topo, the, from Switzerland. They initiated the, the project. Uh, it was a uh, a side project that we started because of COVID restrictions, we could not start another project. So we, this project was to fill in the gap and we worked a few months on this. The background why, <coughs> why they proposed this project was that the, the Swiss Topo, they, they have a WMS service based on, on map server. It's a, quite a big one with, with over a thousand uh, map files uh, and, and layers in total. And on top of this, they also have the, the WMTS. Yeah, and, and their vision is, is actually to, to summon in the future to, to get the automated project translation from, from map server to QGIS and, and also ArcGIS and, uh, and, and also back so, so they can access the, the same information uh, from, from many different uh, clients and applications. Yes, so we, the, they said that the Geostellar ecosystem uh, is, is a, a requirement for this project. So uh, here a short overview of, of the, the Geostellar ecosystem. Basically, the Geostellar ecosystem consists of, of an intermediary generic format, the Geostellar style, and uh, several parsers uh, where you then read and write to to this style and from this style into a specific uh, format. They also offer a uh, editor UI where you, you can style in the browser. It, um, it's based on TypeScript and they also have a CLI. For the development, we started with a kickoff uh, with Terrestris. They are, are the main uh, contributor and, and of the Geostyler project. 
they offered us a, a, a template project with uh, two main functions. It's the, the read style, you get a, a string from your style and, and uh, you return the geostyler style, the intermediary style. And the uh, write style, which uh, then takes a style and writes to a string, it's the, the basic uh, interface of, of the geostyler projects. We also found an existing map file parser in, in JavaScript. It, it was a line-based parser that just parses a line in, into an object with the key, the, the value, whether it's a block or it's an end a tag or, or some comment. And uh, from there, the first step was to, to create the green dot. <laughs> and uh, for me, there was a step zero I first needed to get uh, used uh, custom to, to JavaScript and TypeScript as I never did a project uh, before in these languages. So from there what we did uh, some uh, some key development uh, things. The, there is the reconstruction of, of the tree structure from the line based into a, into a tree to, to map it to the geostyler style object. We also substituted the symbol tags uh, from the external symbol file definition and uh, we then mapped the, the geostyler style object uh, from our tree, parse the tree structure. And uh, by this we started uh, yeah, with some, uh, some parameters uh, that we, we analyzed from the old uh, map files of SwissTopo to get some idea which are, are used uh, more frequently than others. We also ported the, 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 the parser from JavaScript to TypeScript at some point and, and also finally integrated the, the parser into the CLI of the project. That also takes a extra parameter for the simple set pass to resolve the simple definitions. The current state is that the parser can only read map files and parse it, uh, map it to a geostyler style. It does not uh, offer writing capabilities. Um, implemented uh, tags are like in the vector symbolization is the, the, the color, size, outline, pattern, angle, opacity, and so on. It's, I guess there are more, but yeah, the basic ones, the most commonly used ones are there. Um, we also have basic raster symbolizations, uh, the, some, some color ramp stuff is, is there. The symbols is the well-known name symbols are there, TTF uh, symbols and icons are there. We can parse the expression tags in, in the class uh, and also the scale denominators are implemented and parsed. For the, yeah, what is not working, <laughs> the data and filter tags are not working. It's not uh, directly related to the, the style, but it has a, uh, can have a big impact on the final uh, visual experience of, of the data set. Also, the, if you generate uh, some, some style parameters on, on the fly, it, uh, it's difficult to resolve then when you translate this. And uh, some user-defined vector symbols are, are not uh, implemented. The units of measurements are not implemented and also the 
does not include the relative pass because uh, as you have seen the interface it's uh, lacking the the pass so it uh, cannot resolve this and uh, it does not support to to input multiple layers uh, from a map it only works for one layer at a time and uh, there of course are also many limitations of of the geostellar style itself and the other parsers formats so what you cannot encode into a, a geostellar style you also cannot uh, translate uh, it gets stuck and also uh, if the the target the parser or the target format is lacking uh, some some parsing in in the writer capabilities it's also not supported or not uh, getting translated Yeah, this uh, uh, little example, the, given the CLI, you can just uh, call the, the Geostyler CLI, you can give a, a source format map file, in this case, a target SLD format, uh, the output file is a point SLD, and then you give the input file, the, the map file, and also set the map file symbol pass uh, to your simple file and then it, it generates you the, the SLD style from from the and here is an example we, we used to, to demonstrate the one from Swiss Topo it's the the, the aerial navigation obstacles Yeah, it looks like this in in the the in in the browser for the official one. This is uh, when we take this and then translate it to QML. There is also a, a QML parser project in Geostellar style, and when we then uh, load this into QGIS and apply the QML generated QML style, it. Uh, shows off like this and you can see that the, the icons uh, could not get a parse it just uh, shows off uh, some uh, red dot the colors are there mostly and uh, if we parse to SLD the yeah the results are better <laughs> this is uh, basically SLD is the uh, further developed the uh, parser in the Geostyler style ecosystem. It uh, allows uh, to parse also the icons and can finally show this in, in if you load it in QGIS. So it's almost uh, as, as the original. And if we take a closer look uh, to the original uh, SLD and the, the SLD versus the original styling <laughs> from the map server yeah many things uh, are working there are some uh, small issues like for example you can see the the fat lines on the left uh, this is uh, just that uh, the styling uh, has some uh, start uh, symbol and end uh, symbol and uh, it translates just having a, a symbol on every vertex so this is a small issue yes but this is difficult to translate uh, because the the yeah qgis use some uh, vendor specific uh, sld stuff to to do this so it uh, not easy to translate yes here are some links to the 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 project on some github and geostyler should be quite easy to find and also the cli used to okay thank you